Okay, so as you know, we have recently, five weeks ago, is this your fifth week? Yeah, fifth week. This fifth week. week, five weeks ago, we launched the Veer London's first internship. So we've done this in other parts of the company, uh, Dubai, massive success, Malta, big, big success, and this is our first one from London. So I'm really, really pleased to introduce Pat. Pat has done a fantastic job over the last five weeks. Mate, I just want to know how you found it. What's your experience been? What you would say the company culture is? How are you getting on, basically? I think it's honestly, it's been amazing. It's, it's that the exposure to the whole business that we've had. Kind of, we've come in as just part of the recruitment team, but every single individual in the office has come up to us and offered us advice, offered us kind of different opportunities. You know, you've got the residents and citizens team on just the table next to us, they're talking to us all the time. You've got the FinTech guys, and then you've got yourself and Josh, kind of always, every so often you're coming in, you're giving us a new talk on some new information. You know, it's kind of, it's a learning experience, but it's not just about learning information, it's about learning how the business itself works. So, you okay. know, yeah, so far it's been really good. I, I love the fact you've said that. So that was one of our aims, was to make sure that this isn't just some boring internship where for 12 months you're stapling bits of paper together or shredding bits of paper for, you know, I wanted it to be good fun. I wanted to give you exposure to different parts of the business. Wanted it to be fun at the same time. You look like you've had a bit of a laugh. Oh, no. Has it been, it's been always exciting? Yeah. No, Maybe it's, the wrong word? No, it's, 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 it's kind of just, the work is exciting, but it's the people. The people are, they're always, up, they're always happy. They're always giving you a compliment. They're always making you smile. They're always giving you a tap on the shoulder to tell you well done. It's kind of that environment of you're doing a good job, but you can also see somebody else doing a job around you to continue to make yourself push to be better. So something Pat's mentioned there is, as, as managers, I want my managers catching people doing something right. So I think in too many companies that, that certainly I've been into before, the manager almost gets a buzz out of catching people doing something wrong. I had one manager once and he got more of a buzz out of someone being five minutes late than having a really good week. He'd stand at the lift in the morning, he'd get so excited about someone being late, he can catch them doing something, someone, you know, something wrong so that he can have a go at them. The culture that we're trying to create here is managers should be catching people doing something right. Compliment, if someone needs you know, a little kick then cool, we'll, we'll give it, it's not a bouncy castle in there, but that sort of thing should be done in private. So you'd grab someone and say, come on, you're, you're better than that. But the culture should be catching people do something right. So I'm glad you've had a few taps on the shoulder. No, definitely. Every so, day, uh, hopefully. Are you going to stick around afterwards? Is the plan to go back to university? No, so I've finished university. So the plan is, as long as Devere will have me, that's where I want to be. So that's the plan. We like him.